Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you how to install React Native Maps in your project. And so let's start with React Native Maps documentation, which is placed in React Native Maps, React Native Maps uh, GitHub repository. And let's click on installation instructions. I already did these steps, but you need to copy this line. And then after it's done, you need to copy this line, npx pod install, and you need to go in your root directory into iOS folder and place this command there and after it's done just run your project I'm using default react native uh, project which is just react native in it and we need to remove everything here just we will leave some things which are you will see so let's start with removing styles let's leave only view here you will see why and let's reformat this function to ECMAScript function we will not use TypeScript here and let's leave the view and let's refresh our project so as you can see it's empty that's because we don't have a style property here let's add flex of one background color red and as you can see it takes the entire space of the device screen and let's import our maps import map view and we will need also marker you will see why and let's uh, go back to react native maps documentation and let's copy this nice text code example with this uh, object and let's place it in our return method and as you can see nothing is here and I showed you before that you need to add that flex property and also it's for the map you need to add this style property and instead we need to add flex of one and it takes entire screen as you can see our map is working next thing which we want to do is add the marker we can also remove this view because we are not using it anymore let's remove this slash close the map view and let's place marker inside here and marker needs props which is coordinate and we need to give it an object in this case we need latitude and longitude and as you can see our marker appeared on the map next thing we want to do is add some title for marker and maybe some description so it's clickable and something happens and this marker has property title and let's give it some string for example test marker okay we need to reload you can see our test marker bubble appears and let's add some description for this marker also as you saw the description was not there before but now it's there and that's it so basically that's how you do it you just add map view and you need to add this style property give it some flex in this case we are giving one you can of course give it different one which you need in your case and 
these are the properties for marker and that's it thank you for watching